Welcome back to my channel, Chainsaw Dave USA coming at ya. Thanks so much for checking out my videos. I really do appreciate it. Come on over and watch me make this chainsaw carb bear. This is a pattern that I use to make almost every mammal that I want to make. It starts with a triangular uh, top cut where you can see that I make basically sloping cuts on the top that um, they go down the side and they make a triangle shape on the top. And that's where you can really get most of your form from. This is a piece of Western red cedar that I'm using. And it's actually kind of an old piece of wood. You can see that the sap wood, which is the outside wood, is mostly rotten. You can see that I'm cutting behind the back of the bear's legs here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, with your uh, visualization skills, but what I'm trying to create is the behind the the back of the the butt down to his feet. Um, right here, what I'm doing is I'm creating the front part of the bear where I will soon press into the log his uh, other other forms of his arms, his shoulders and his belly. This is the back of the bear again. I'm cutting off some of this rotten sap wood, just trying to get to the meat of the, the log where we get into the good wood. The nice thing about cedar is it doesn't really rot, uh, which is why it's so desirable. Um, the sap wood will rot off, but the heartwood will last for a long time. So what you see here is um, me just trimming all that off and getting down to really where I can start my design. Um, I'm remaking this video because my last one got demonetized because I used an iPad approved song. Apparently you're not able to do that. And I am still learning how to do this properly. Okay. So what you see here is me making three cuts. That is the coat, the cut for the bridge of the nose, which you'll see right here. And then the eyebrow, which goes back into the ears. Now you can follow that pattern for almost any mammal that you want to do. But in this case, we'll make a bear. Next thing is we're gonna bring out that muzzle. What I do is I cut an octagon shape on the muzzle, um, but I start with these, these uh, diagonal cuts on the ears and on the, the snout. Um, after I make the diagonal cuts, I do a relief cut behind the ears and behind the snout to get that to pop out. And um, that's really just a, a rough shape, but you can see I'm starting to make this kind of octagon looking shape on the front of the muzzle after I get rid of that pesky little piece by the ear and the other side of the muzzle. Um, but you'll see me kind of, there you go. There's the uh, kind of like an octagon shape. Um, I undercut underneath the ears and you can see I've already got a bear head popping out. And you can use that same pattern to do a dog or a wolf um, or a horse, uh, really just about any sort of mammal in, that you want to do. You would just elongate the snout or put the ears in a different place um, or make the head a little narrower. But really the best way to um, bring out an animal sculpture is the way that I'm showing you here is you really can see how it comes to life very fast. Um, after I pull out the snout and set the proportions, I use the head to do that. The head kind of dictates the proportions for the rest of the log, and it's really a one-third proportion is what I typically use, a one-third to one-quarter for the head. Um, this is a longer log, so I'm gonna use about a quarter proportion, but you can see that um, right now I'm cutting in under the belly and into the, the top of the thighs and then I'll cut backwards up into that here in a second. Um, that basically gives you the front of the belly. Now I'm doing the, the, uh, the cheeks and the shoulders will get popped in there as well. And what you're gonna see me do here next is the plunge cut between the legs and that dictates how long the legs are gonna be and also um, how wide a, uh, your stance is gonna be. And there's a lot of room for flexibility on this. Don't be in intimidated to make mistakes. If you make a real tall, skinny bear, that's okay. They have caricature carvings. If you make a short, fat bear, that's okay. Uh, everybody 
has a different version of, or a view of what a, a bear should look like. And you'd be surprised people that have um, wives that have skinny tall husbands buy skinny tall bears. Wives that have short fat husbands buy short fat bears. So almost, well not almost, every piece that I've ever made has sold and um, unless I don't want to sell it. And I've got several pieces that are, um, I, I will keep because I want to put them in my house or give them to somebody. But very few pieces have just not sold because they were a mistake. And because really, in, in reality, all my pieces are mistakes. None of them are, are perfect. Every single one I learn something from and every single one I make a mistake on. The idea is just to have fun and to not be intimidated. When you're making those cuts between the legs, be very careful. Your chainsaw can kick back at you. So that's why I went down low to the ground because you always want to have your handle below your bar tip um, when you're doing a plunge cut. So you want your, your bar tip above your handle. So you want to come in on the lower end of the nose so that you, it doesn't kick back. Uh, make sure you learn about kickback before you uh, try to apply it to this art form. Um, next step here is I'm cutting off the sides of the, the heels of the bear's feet. And my goal is to really start knocking off all of the corners now. Because what we're doing is we're blocking it out. The next step will be modeling it. Um, here we're going to see me uh, really start knocking the corners off of, of all the forms that I've made and um, thinning down the shape of the bear and kind of settling in more on its forms. Every time I make a piece, I have uh, a few moments where I think, oh, this thing looks like uh, it looks terrible. But the truth is, um, after you fool with it and mess around with it after a while, you'll start settling in on shapes and forms and it'll be it'll get refined and you'll start really enjoying what you're doing and seeing it come to life um, the most important thing is to have fun okay so here you're gonna see me knock the corners off of the muzzle and as I do that I set up the nose um, the nose is usually as wide as the muzzle <clears throat> and then I make a little triangle there for the mouth where the um, mouth can be opened up a little bit and what you'll see me do is after I get the muzzle and I use the tip of the chainsaw to do that I'll want to deepen that brow by shaving off those corners um, there again we don't want to have any corners or hard lines because those really don't exist in nature so we want to use the edge of our chain and kind of drag it on there like a rasp or a sander and you can see how in just a few short cuts it starts to cut go from blocky to looking more like a mottled refined bear um, as i cut off the um, excess you can see that it it really starts to come to life right about now this is a, a process that um, i can do in about 15 minutes um, i've sped up the video so it's done in about eight minutes but I can do this, a bear like this in anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. <clears throat> I've made probably over a thousand bears, so don't get discouraged if yours don't come out that fast. Just keep plugging away at it and have fun. As you can see, that bear came out quite nice. Please do like and subscribe and share, and thanks so much for being a part of my channel. Thank you.